tip like contraption that is over here on the Green Bay sideline. Uh, I'm not sure what exactly is going on in there. If he's receiving treatment, if he's using the bathroom. Uh, it's just unclear at this point, but uh, he went in there a couple of minutes ago. Bye, Aaron. See you, A-Rod. Have a good rest of the game. You know where to find us if you want to stop on back. I, I kind of like it in here. I think it's kind of neat. Hey, fuckers. <laughs> Maddie Day here. Hey, fucker! <laughs> <laughs> Tommy Burns. <laughs> Happy day. We are live from Stadium Drive. It's December. Getting there a little bit with the local weather, but we're not there yet. Not totally. It's, it's raining in December. It's still sweatshirty. Yeah. Um, nice to see you, man. It's been a, been a couple of weeks. Yes, we did. Uh, two games have passed, so there was a DC game. Kind of exciting for both of us. You, you got to head out for that? You, I did. I got uh, to go to the Washington debacle. Made the travel. Uh, phenomenal swings in weather. Uh, uh, spent some time in a Lebanese dance nightclub. Uh, a belly dancer named Christy. Uh, phenomenal candles on her head. Uh, hookahs. Uh, there was a lot of birthday parties there. Uh, it was just uh, it was just a really enjoyable time. Uh, Excellent. Yeah. Uh, Excellent, man. I, I mean that that's a that's a you know that we both had a, kind of our own little Packer experiences going on. I got to uh, at Clubhouse Live, local Packers show. I got to do a meet and greet with Ty Montgomery and Randall Cobb. Corn on the. Very very cool guys. Um, and that was after the Washington game. Cool guys, Wes Hod. Hey, got just got to give Wes you know, Hod. Wes Hodkiewicz of Packers.com. I don't know what it means, but he followed me on Twitter. I'm, thanks, Wes. If, if you, I don't, I don't know. I don't know where it came from, but exciting. I think we Packer people should should bond together, huh? You know, recently you know, there there was there's been a lot of talk. I, I I don't know if it was spurred on by the Packers issues and maybe feeling like there was a lack of accountability uh, from the top down, but I even uh, even Tony John, Tony Dungy chimed in, and he he said that some uh, that some or most owners. Uh, hang on, you can reset it because we Mur reset the Murph's Murph's owners don't even know who to pick for the coaches. <laughs> Even Tony Dungy chimed in and, and said, these owners, they, they meddle, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. I'm really glad we don't have that. I'm really glad we have Mike McCarthy. Win or lose. I mean, and this isn't why an owner would keep a coach, but a benefit to Mike McCarthy is no matter how his team does on Sunday or Monday, what have you, you know Mike is going to be up on that podium the next day or two or three, giving it his all for the for the press, man. Mike McCarthy press conferences cannot overstate. And with success comes a little bit higher sodium levels, <laughs> and we got to see that this week. This week. Well, I, I really don't. I mean, I think it's convenient you put those two quotes together because um, I, I mean I I have no idea what. Question he was asked, yeah, I, you know, I mean, I don't even, I don't even remember what the question I, I, I answered, uh, but I, I really, I would just use the answer I gave Rob. Can, can, I, can we just go ditto? You know, just, uh, frankly, that's, I'm, I'm, I'm wasting time. You're wasting my time, frankly, talking about right now because I got a run game meeting I had to get to. But uh, personally, I like it when they don't like us. I mean, it's hard not to have people like you. Hey, we're the Green Bay Packers. I mean, we're the, we're the Green Bay Packers. So we, we take that um, with a lot of pride. Uh, we know our fans were upset uh, with what's going on, but hell, there's no one more upset than those, than, than those men in the locker room, and, and that's that's the reality of it. So uh, we all want to win. 
We're doing everything we can to win. I can promise you that. Um, so this group is committed. Uh, but hell, we're five and six. All right. So let's not. You know, once again, you're wasting my time. I gotta, I gotta run game meeting. What are you gonna do in the run game meeting and get your running game to be more productive? Well, we need to do a better job than we did Monday night. I'll just tell you that. You know, statistics, you know, they're not for losers because you guys are so damn sensitive when I say that. So, uh, statistics are important. You know, you've been pretty positive throughout all this. What's the mood around here today after coming off the win? Is it, is it any different? I think everybody's grousy. Hell, he didn't get any sleep last night. So, um, too many cheesesteaks on the plane that a few guys are complaining about. But, uh, uh, yeah, no, I, I just got to tell you what it was. I mean, you know, I was clearly just uh, motivated by all the questions you asked about last week. Is this part of just being around the league for a while? Man, um, would you have done this, say, in 2008 or whatever? Just to, I know you don't love hypotheticals, but is this kind of a, how you kind of progressed as a coach, maybe? Well, I'd like to give you a smart-ass answer there, but we won't do it today. Live from Stadium Drive, uh, fans out there, um, quick note on that last clip and the gentleman who asked the question. On our last show, we stuck it pretty good to one William Huber of PackerReport.com. And like we said earlier, it, this is it is important for Packer people, uh, especially us on the, the kind of DIY scene, to kind of stick together and support each other. So I I like to think it came out of a place of love. It was, I mean, it, yeah, yeah, totally, totally. And, and the more I looked into Packer Report, I think it's a very good podcast. I listened to the one today. I think Bill does really, really good work. So I would like to formally apologize to Bill Huber, he kind of said some things. No, well, he he kind of uh, just I was wor- I don't know. I mean, who am I to think that he even knows that we fucking did? Well, he obviously has to listen to us. <sighs> but if he if he if he does, then he knows that we're sorry, and that sometimes it's just kind of a matter of I mean, when you when you're looking to do a show every week, and sometimes, sometimes you just gotta come come up with. Can't say about, can't say enough about the foot warming down at the creek. Oh, I spent, spent most of the day at practice at the creek. Uh, not a usual Monday. Talk to Flea about it. A duck, bear, black, any of them. You know, we just like to sit by and talk about uh, a game plan about there. We can look at, look at nature and, uh, and uh, think about, think about the bigger the bigger picture of these Green Bay Packers at the Crick. Uh, Pretty good fishing, walleyes. Uh, oh. <laughs> Grailing, I pre- I, spawning in this time. <laughs> I prefer a cornmeal breading, uh, lighter oil. Uh, Jessica and me are trying to watch, trying to, trying, John, me and just trying to watch our carbs, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, we prefer non non gluten non gluten breading for the fish we catch at the creek. Uh, uh, Flea can tell you all about it. Flea fishing. Five and six people. It's doable. We have never jumped. We have never even dipped a toe off the Packer train. We are who we thought we were. Approximately. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers, is, and this is the second half. <laughs> the, the second quarter. <laughs> you watch the tickle Mike McCarthy there in those shorts holding that pad. <laughs> look, look, look at him move those feet. <laughs> Doug God. Peterson, we were playing some games there no, with Brett no, Byrne. No, Doug Peterson, <laughs> that's about the size of my apartment in Green Bay. I tell you what, my uh. time in Green Bay. <laughs> Madden right, right and Gruden calling a game? Ooh. Can it happen once? One time. Just once. Just once. Turchuckin. <laughs> <laughs> Coming out of the turkey's asshole. Like, 
And you put Gruden in there, boom! <laughs> Fucking Alan Barber, of all people. Alan Barber. I was shocked as shit to even see that guy was on an NFL roster. Right? My God. Do you remember when fucking Barber was in Green Bay? Did you ever listen to... Did you ever, did you ever catch a radio broadcast when, uh, when Larry McCarron would just be given... Larry McCarron was not an Alan Barber fan when he was here. I'll get some credence to, to Larry Bear. Just, it, he talks so fucking slow that it was just like, oh, Alan Barber. <laughs> Getting lit up on that one. <laughs> Alan Barber doing his best impersonation of a turn style. On Mediocre pass blocker, but a reliability in the <laughs> run game. <laughs> He's the, he's the definition of a reliability. <laughs> well, if we were if we were gonna uh, talk about our success at all, just because we, when we were watching the game, it was like, okay, Cobb got one, Jordy got one, Rogers got one, Cook got one, Rip got one, Thing got one. I think he even fucking made a fucking completion of Winston Moss. <laughs> Oh boy, again, shout out time, ladies and gentlemen. This I week's... get so excited for these. Let's see. Uh, upon whom do we bestow the honor this week, Thomas? Kind of a big one. A lot of candidates. There were a lot of candidates we didn't talk about. Say it on three. A one syllable version. One, two, three. Tay! Tay. <sighs> Doing it again. One, seven. Man, Tay Adams. Going off. But from Aaron Rodgers. Was it your close game. personal friend too, uh, Mac? Was it Hube Dog asking him about like what gave you? He did. I think Hube Dog asked, "What gave you faith last year?" Oh yeah. We know the success that he's had now this year, but what made you stick with him? They they see it. Mac seemed see it again day. very annoyed with Hube Dog. Yeah. There's kind of a thing developing again. I I, know. I, I don't want to feed that. I well, don't and wanna... don't you know? I don't think we have to apologize, but I think we have to apologize. Yeah. I mean, it's you know, like we're not just saying, but we've played just... a part in that. You know. <sighs> when all this was kind of happening, I work with someone who has worked with Tyler Don. He has, and it said it's an intern who writes his tweets. You done, Ty. You done done it. Dick. Houston, you've got a bronchlum. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Try that again. Houston, you've got a bronchlum. Uncommon opponent. Green Bay, you've got an uncommon opponent. Oh boy. Week whatever it is. Coming at you. Packers getting off the schneid, as uh, Aaron Rodgers put it. Uh, had to look up what that meant. Um, do they roll? What kind of team are they playing here in, in Houston? What do, you, what do you think of Brock? <sighs> Seems like he made great choices. Um... I mean, it's not very often that uh, you see them. What's well, an uncommon or... opponent? I mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, I tried to learn a little bit about Brock Osweiler, and I got really fucking bored. There's nothing, there's no bigger waste of time than hearing, like, a young NFL player do, a like, a, a phone interview where it's just like, Brock Osweiler, what do you think about the Packers' defense? A lot of talent in the secondary. They've got a lot of athleticism back there. They're really good at mixing things up. They're good at playing in space and jamming at the line of scrimmage. They've got insert player here on the defensive line. They've got insert player here in the linebacking core. Ugh. You know who still sucks at it is Matt Stafford. He still sucks at it. Yeah. Well, they, they do have Romeo back there. 
I like me some Romeo. Although that was the that was the eleven and or uh, thirteen one loss. Thirteen. Or the, oh or yeah, the, the Romeo 15, is fucking the, uh, interim the, coach for KC. Twenty eleven. Fuck you, Romeo. That was the loss. God, that was awful. That was I was at that game. That fucking sucked. Yeah. Modi Bones. Hey, Modi. You but asshole. that game. I was so fucking mad. <laughs> oh, God. He did that. I, I I was so mad at my friends in KC that day. I wanted them to leave me. I, I was like so fucking pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to fucking ride with them. <laughs> just, just go. Get. Just run me over on the way. Get. <laughs> Calm. Uh, but it, uncommon opponent. <laughs> other than that. What what are, what issues do the Packers have this week? I mean, I think it's it's okay. We've been riding through the gutter and pushing through the gutter, and now we've we've won. Yeah, yeah, we won. Are all our problems solved? Is that it? We coast on into the playoffs. Just ride the wave. I mean, I think it's it's something Mike said. I think it's something we've said since we've started this show, and it's it's a creed, an Apollo that we live by. <laughs> is <laughs> really. <laughs> Is that, is that what they call it? <laughs> no, yeah. They didn't, that, that part of it, just I know what you're going to say. To me. I think it's funny. Um, go ahead. The Apollo is, it's not how you attain success, it's how you handle success. <laughs> that really applies to life for a stadium drive. <laughs> well, it it's not exactly a must win yet. Basically, the Packers need to win as many games as possible. Well, with Zim Dog's torn retina. Oh, keep an eye out. I'm, I'm like, it's not. We <laughs> like Zim Dog here, so it's not a whole thing. But holy shit, Vikings! What else can you come up with? Because the love boat was something. Yeah. And everything else that you come with something. This year was something. Ziggy, Ziggy, it's me. Ziggy, it's my eye. I can't see it in my fucking eye, but I got the other one. I'm fucking watching you, you little shit. We've got our own our own issues. We'll look one game ahead ahead at a time. Yeah. No, I mean we'll we'll. But rest rest peace and recovery to Zim Dog. Mm-hmm. Real quick, continue. That is something official. Yo, oh, is it a cop? No, that is that is fucking someone that is ready to fucking chill with us. I think. I hope so. Yeah. Hey, evening. Oh, just our little uh, Packers blog that we do every uh, Wednesday or Thursday night. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Late? Uh, tonight it had to be, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Work is a ma, but yeah. do you want to come for an interview? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sure, See ya. <laughs> that was law enforcement. Yeah, it's late as fuck. <laughs> uh... It's not a crime. No. Now I, I'm so thrown off, I don't even know if I can come up with my prediction. 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 Speech like this offense is going to come with 33. Like 33. Texans ain't gonna come with shit, but 17, 33, 17, 33, 17, that he hit me with what you believe. Other side of the field, Houston has never personally broke 26 points in a single game in 2016. So, Houston gonna come up real short. Itty bitty score, itty bitty score. Looking like... Not many more than 13. 13 to the Packers, 27. 220 win, 220 win. We gonna be doing to the playoffs again. Fuck the police. They almost fucking... Almost got an interview? That would have been awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they almost threw off our prediction thing. Yeah. God. But, (laughs) potentially another viewer? Maybe. We need cards. We need, we need, sir. <laughs> we need cards to give to the cops. Trading cards. 
<laughs> here's a Maddie, here's a Tommy. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? I don't know. Uh, cooking a turkey. Uh, Thanksgiving kind of came late. Yeah. Oy vey. Well, we got through it. It's pretty late. We should shut her down for the night. Yeah. Y'all, thank you for sticking with Live from Stadium Drive through these troubled times. It is. Getting, you know, dealing with a lot, but we thank you for sticking through us through the thick and the thin. We know it's a liability, but we're, <laughs> uh, we appreciate everything that you do for us, and we just want to give more to you. We do. Thanks for sharing all, all the clips around the internet. Thank you so much. Thanks, Wes Hod, for following us. Apologies to Bill Huber. Um, shoot. Anything you think we should know that you know that we don't know, tell us. Try us. Buy us. But we're not for sale. Mm -mm. We do take fan mail. But we are. I am. He is. Tommy Burns. And Das is. Hence North. Maddie Day. Day. And we are. Right, y'all. In this moment. In front of Lambeau Field. In front of Brown County Field. <laughs> Troy Struckenbach. <laughs> we are live from, from Stadium Drive. Drive. So is this, uh, is this any good? I kind of liked it. I mean, I don't know. I think it could help. This just really wasn't what I had in mind when you said we got sideline passes to the game. I know. I was kind of thinking the same thing myself. But, on the bright side, it's pretty warm in here. We do have our own bathroom. Kind of thirsty. I mean, I know we can't necessarily watch the game, but I don't know. I heard some pretty big cheers earlier, so. Yeah. But do, do you think, think he's coming, coming back? back?